Yorkasaur, welcome back to Illusion of Time, here with Dairaku. In the last episode, we uh, met our protagonist. We worked out that we have a bit of a psychic ability and can move things by uh, flipping our flute around. We've learned that our father is missing, but his voice came out of the flute when we were in prison for uh, trying to get my father's ring to the king and... Look, a lot of stuff has happened. All you need to know is that we've ended up with the princess, we've got her out of the castle from father, and our grandpa and grandma have gone missing. We're back in South Cape. So, let's see... ...what's new. So our fisherman's still trying to fish. So, we're going to go into here. Everyone's here. Hey guys, I'm back. What happened, Will? You look so gloomy. Something you can't tell us about. Says confidence. What's the matter? You're not acting like the same old Will. Okay. Says only cares about winning his game. Typical nerd. Alright, so let's go up here. And let's go to the dark space because I'm missing some hit points. And I'm not keen on having hit points missing. Okay, I'm going to record. And no freedom available here because we are in town. So freedom's only available in dungeons, basically. So the game does follow your typical town, dungeon, town, dungeon, town, dungeon format. But we'll go in. Don't you be trying to sell things for us. And while I've been gone, they've cleaned up the house. I think something good is going to happen, says Kara. Are you ready to go? Yes. Now she thinks something wonderful is going to happen. No. From here on, there will be many hardships. Hmm. You're nitpicking. That's what I expected. Have you ever been outside the castle? Crazy girl. Are you totally ignorant of the world? Will's my friend, understand? Hey, Will, aren't you my friend too? So I could say, yes, of course, or I, um, I'm going to the village, but yes, of course. I'm glad, Will. Let's go hand in hand. Together, the three set off for Lily's village. With a hop and a skip, probably. So we go up to a new town. And of course we can't travel in straight lines. So now we're in Itery Village. Way up in the north of the continent. And the nice village music. This is my village, but you're probably surprised that there are no houses. Will, try and playing the melody that called to me under Edward Castle. So once again, we have to get out Lola's melody. Go through the cutscene. Because this game likes to just hold you up a little bit from time to time. So here we are on this hilltop with not much around. The melody carried on the wind spread over the meadow. And with a flash of light, there's suddenly a village here. Were you surprised? There's a barrier around this village. Most people can't see it. The princess is going to be a bother. On the road, all I heard was, My feet hurt. I'm thirsty. I'm tired of hearing it. I can't help it. My feet hurt. Oh, okay. Well, come with me. I'll show you my house. Alright, well, let's go with Lily. Oh, look who it is! Will! Will! Over here! You're safe. Good, good. A terrible thing happened to us. A man called the Jackal came to the house with some soldiers. He almost got us. Grandpa panicked. I destroyed their digestion with a poison marsupial pie. Then I ran away. Lily, thank you. I didn't know that Princess Kara came too. 
We didn't ask her to come along. Will, this is my house. You can look around the village, but then come back here. Lily, wait, I'll go too. And one of the things that uh, you might have noticed is that when there's a wind, you can see it in uh, our idle animation. This will be important. So now that we're up here, we can run down hills, sometimes very quickly. But I want to see what's in this pile of logs. It's a red jewel. That's red jewel number eight. And with that, I'm going to go back to South Cape. I mean, if Artery Village is closed to outsiders, then it's also closed to Gem the Jeweler. So, let's go back to South Cape and reap our rewards. And of course, we take a slightly different way home each time. And of course, the slowest part is the rotation. So while they're chilling in uh, the lease house, I'm just going to race back to town. And I'm going to talk to... Jem? I'm holding eight of the red jewels for you. You've collected over five jewels. According to the list, your defense power will be raised. So we get another defense point. And now our life power will be raised. So our strength, but actually our HP, I believe that is. There we go. So that's an extra point of defense and an extra HP point. Hit point points, you understand. So... We'll go back up to Isery Village. And we'll actually start doing what we were supposed to do. Which is uh, look around town. So now that we're here... We'll actually talk to the locals. There are no other children that lives out in the village. Please become friends. Oh, well, I think we have. So here we are in Lily's house. It's very... Very homely and only one bed. Wonder who her parents are. It's a great village. The breeze is refreshing. The elder is in the flower garden. He's very old, but very wise. Shall we go see him? So, we heard the elder that called before. Meet with the elder, he knows something. I'm afraid that something bad is going to happen. So Lola wants thinks something bad's going to happen, and Lily, not Lily, Kara thinks something wonderful's going to happen. Okay, let's go inside houses. Let's talk to folks. Many people have come here to gather ink and gold, but many who set foot in the ink and ruins have never returned. The ruins are an ancient tomb. Why can't you leave them alone? Because... reasons. And here we have this great big thing here and a dark space in the middle of it. Oops, that's the other half of the story. Let's start on the correct side. It said that a messenger appeared here when the ancient world was about to be destroyed. Then all around the world, disease and famine began to increase. This planet had always been peaceful. So, we'll go in the dark space. We kind of need to. Will's power, the Psycho Dash. It can destroy obstacles. Always be alert. If you find a suspicious place, try to destroy it. Now, while we're in the dark space, we can actually use our combat abilities. And there's a statue of us, which is what you get when you're in freedom normally. And with a fanfare. Psycho Dash can now be used. Once it finally gets up there. Only Young Will can use the Psycho Dash. You can smash walls and obstacles by hurling yourself against them. Use the attack button to save energy. What it means by saving energy, there's actually a little bit of a mistranslation, is to store it. So we hold down the A button, and we start glowing in ethereal, ethereal green, but when we start flashing properly, we can do a 
literally a dash forward. And by hurling ourselves into things, we manage to destroy them. How this works, I don't know. It's psychic powers, that's all I know. Try running down that hill and keep running, you'll be surprised. Okay. Whee! And more mountains in the background there. And see, here the clouds are actually moving. So these little things here. This must be the flower garden, but I don't see the elder. Will hears a quiet voice behind him. You've come, Will. Uh, hello? Hello? Oh! Sorry about that, folks. But, uh, the Elder has just made himself appear. I can't live without the protection of the Flower Spirit. You really look like your father. It seems like only yesterday that he came to this village. My father! Your mother, Shira, that's her name, Shira, was the only daughter of your grandparents, Bill and Lola. She was very beautiful. Your father fell in love with her and took her from the village. All of the Ivory tribe have a strange power, but Shira's was especially strong. She made a barrier to hide the town, but your father came through it easily. Come to think of it, he was unusual too. Were you summoned by your father? Well, yes I was. That fulfills Lola's prophecy. That's actually misspelt. That's prophesy, not prophecy, but anyway. Do you plan to go? Well, he said I needed to go to the Incan ruin, so yes. Good. I will entrust you with the Incan statue handed down to the village. The statues are the key to the Incan riddle, untouched by human hands for hundreds of years. One statue is enshrined in the cave below. Use all your skill to find it. So we'll just take the quick way rather than taking the ladder. Come on. You're going to make me take the ladder. Normally I can just jump down there. But we can go inside here. And we have two music. Now, where could it be? Why, that makes a hitting noise. And so let's uh, become radioactive. And with that, there's our Rincon statue. You've found Incan statue, eh? A. Thank you. Yes, this music is very uh, mysterious. We'll hear more of it later. More pan flutes. Ooh, that's the Incan statue. Good job. It's actually fairly easy. I wonder if you were put on this earth to solve the Incan Riddle. I'll tell you a legend handed down by our people. Put the statue on the Laroi Cliff below the ruins, where the spirit's breath cannot reach. The winds in the valley will lead you to the gold ship. Understand? Or well, yes I do. It said that the Moon Tribe has one more. Have Lily guide you there. Be careful. Okay, and you're gonna say exactly the same thing. Eh, we jump back and we can't make it up there. I think I've been able to make it up there once. So let's go and talk to Lily. I'll we'll talk to Kara. What? Moon tribe? I know, not a tribe. More like a strange shadow form. A high mountain peak near here has become their home. Shall we go? Well, I'm going to talk to my grandparents first, so let's quit. If you make him mad, you'll lose your life, so you better stop it. Okay. There's an old legend in this village. A child with a good heart who controls the dark power will set out to save the world. At that time, a huge comet will enter Earth's orbit, and a dark power will arise. These are the words of the Itery legend. How is the Elder? When you fought the demon at Edward Castle, did you find a shiny silver stone? There's a strange power in that stone. Even if defeated by an enemy, if you have 100 of them, you will live again. I only have 80 at the moment. Okay. And you're not going to say anything else. 
All right, now we'll talk to Lily. Let's go. Okay, I'll lead. I'm going too. I want to see the Moon Tribe. Since I escaped the confinement of the castle, I want to see and hear everything. No! It's too dangerous for princesses. If you don't want to bother Will, just wait here quietly. I seem to be the only one left out. So I'll go talk to Grandma Lola. Nya nya. She's sulking. It's good medicine for a selfish girl. The mountain pass will be difficult, but let's do the best we can. So when Will and Lily go... Will and Lily, oh my goodness, go to the peak where the Moon Tribe lives. And... That's the mountain pass up here where the two mountains are next to each other. Otherwise, not an assuming. Home of Moon Tribe. Ah, we've arrived. This is the Moon Tribe's home. Okay, and you're going to follow me around. Good evening. Out for a stroll? Who is it? Up, up. This body is lighter than air. What are you? Guess who? Uh, Cotton Candy's relative, Birdman, Old Man's Ghost, Cotton Candy's relative. Let's go with that. Wrong! Actually, we are the Moon Tribe, also known as Shadows. Oh, and there they are. Wherever there's light, there are shadows. We, who were changed by being bathed in the light only once, will spend our future in a world without light. The light that they refer to is a comet. As we will find out. The comet is a vehicle of destruction whose evil light has changed all creatures. It's a remnant of a weapon from a terrible battle long ago. The world will be unbearable? Yes. You're bright. But you're still immature. One of my party has been kidnapped. Know your destination? Yes? Maybe someone's chasing you. Coo coo coo. You'll hear coo 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 a lot. It comes once every 800 years. This is the fourth time. So that great battle was over 3,000 years ago. The more light that reaches you, the stronger the dark power. What will be born of the light this time? We've transcended time and have lived long. We saw the destruction of the Incan Empire. The Incan statue sleeps in the cave below. If you like, we'll give it to you. At any rate, go look in the cave. Coo -coo -coo. I'll wait here. Yes, you will. Because we have enemies. This is the final shape of those touched by the comet's light. They are horrible creatures whose hearts are filled with hatred and destruction. If you can destroy them within 20 seconds, I'll give you the ink and statue. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Let's get this over with. So let's deal with these scuttlebugs. Try and multiple hit them if I can. Oh, where's the last one gone? Here it is. Hey, hey, good boy. Cool, cool, cool. Then I'll give you the Incan statue. And we'll collect the dark gems. And we can collect Incan statue B once we get through the fanfare. Da 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 da. This one has an exclamation point. Come on. Thank you. And the Moon Tribe reappear. I've already done that. Are you going to tell me anything different? I don't think they will. So speak to Lily. 
Oh, that statue, you are great! There are two statues. Go to the Incan Ruins? Yes. Yes, my father summoned me. I don't want to fight the demons, but if my father's alive, I'll risk anything to see him. You don't really understand until you lose your parents. Typical. I understand. Let's go to the ruins. They headed to the Incan Ruins! Thanks for reaffirming. The narrator in this is... Doesn't always let the penny drop. Sort of hands things to you in a very uh, spoon-feeding kind of way from time to time. It's almost like a mother bird. And here we are at the Inca Ruins, and that symbol means ruin. The entrance to ruins, more mystery music. Here's the entrance to the ruins. Once again, spoon-fed. They say that this is where the puzzle of the Incan legend is hidden. I heard this story from the Elder when I was a child. After being invaded, the Incas decided to leave their native land to find a new world. They secretly built a huge ship and filled it with priceless gold artifacts. But there's no record of the ship leaving. That's probably the Incan gold ship in the story. I don't think the Elder has ever told that story to any outsider. I wonder what he wants you to do. So, around here, there's... not much. Let's wander about. Oh! Kara? You're so mean! Leaving me behind! How could you do that? Why are you in a place like this? It's dangerous! Lola told me about this place. I've been waiting! For how long? I thought you'd left me. You should tell me where you're going. What is Will looking for in the ruins? I can't just wait around and eat while Will is working so hard. I'm waiting here for Will to return. Well, the princess wouldn't understand. I'll wait for you here, okay? Will, I remember what the Elder said. Put the statue on the lower cliff below the ruins where the spirit's breath cannot reach. The valley wind will lead you to the gold ship. Just to remind us... And the princess says, Well, did you find what you were looking for? No, because I haven't even started looking yet. But we get to go down into the ruins. And uh, another one of my favourite tunes from the game. Love it. There was a tremendous wind at the Larai Cliff. That's probably what the old man meant by the breath of the spirits. This is the cliff with no wind. I... You just said there was a tremendous wind. And now this is a cliff with no wind. Anyway, my heart beats fast. So, really, it's a whole heap of uh, caves, I guess, and these stone masks on the outside. Oh, yes, those guys. Oh, and uh, mud men. So, um, so if they start walking towards you and then they walk backwards, that means they're about to basically do the equivalent of a Psycho Dash. Speaking of which... We can do that to enemies. But oftentimes it's just easy just to go uh, and wail on them with the spear. Not the spear, the uh, flute. Okay, got the two of them. Oh, it's going to do an attack. Oh, no you're not. Alright, well, we might Psycho Dash into this one. Oh, we can't Psycho Dash on the stairs. Okay, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. Rid of these four ways. That's what they do. The equivalent of that. Now, most of the time, it's just better to... Yeah, whale well on enemies. Just takes too long to charge up the uh, Psycho Dash. Now, well, we've got one last enemy here. I'll just stand at uh, 
north northeast. And my dash didn't quite get him. Okay, it doesn't seem to work. Oh! And, well, that would have been useful just a second ago. And there's a diamond hole there. Okay, so there's the same enemies from before, the sludges. So there's no skeletons here, so... No rivers, no skull chasers. Especially the skull chasers. There's only two of them in the whole game. So, usually I can get through here without dying. Oop. Can't defend ourselves from their attacks. Like that. We can only really defend ourselves from projectiles. So we'll let him go. Okay. Now what have we got here? Oh yes, ramps and things. Oh, another mud pit. So how many enemies are left? Eleven. And no items. Oh. That's what I wanted. And you were going to attack me, naughty. Naughty, naughty. That's what I wanted. Come on. Let's get it out of the way. You're about to go again. That's what I want. Come on. Slow but steady with these ones. Now we'll go after the mud men again. Just going to push back. And more of these. Then we'll just... Oh! That wasn't good. One last one. Ooh, let's get down a bit. So it doesn't shoot me in the foot again. Ah. Oh, excellent. Yes, yeah, definitely want an increase of power. And there's a treasure chest. Because out here, this is the only item. And with the great fanfare... We have found the diamond-shaped block. Ooh, magic fanfare for a diamond-shaped block. I wonder where that goes. But before I go back there, I love how you can see down to uh, other bits of the dungeon. It's a nice touch that they've put in uh, a few of the dungeons, actually. So what have we got? Blue block. Diamond-shaped block. That goes in here. He fit the block into the tile! Hey, it had an exclamation point. Ooh. The pattern that they fall is typically random. Okay, now we're out on the cliff proper again. With one of those guys. I want to get rid of you. Excellent. And we have our first... Uh, Continue. Go. Oh, let's get out of the way. And now we have a shortcut ladder back to the start. Okay, get rid of you. Now I want to go down here. Even though this is technically a dead end. If memory serves, it's a dead end. Yes. Okay, good. Here we have... A dead explorer. An explorer who sought the ink and gold ship. In the skeleton's hand is some kind of charm. Inside it is a scrap of paper with this written on it. Father, please come back alive. Nana. When do you find the gold ship? Buy a crook. Sabas. Now, we could do that to these statues, or we could just psycho dash into them to actually destroy them. 
And those were a stronger version of the blue ones that we had earlier. That's what I wanted. We found a herb. And I can't uh, hit them. Oh, but I can from this angle. Uh, well, we can get some uh, gems at least. Off the rebound. So the main reason for going down there, though, was for that skeleton. Okay, but now that we've done that, we go down the secret route, just here and into this door. And we have more of these. Okay, now... Ooh, go. Much better. And again. Just wait for them. I'm not in a good spot here. Oh, actually I am. Ooh, timing. So we've got three left. And there'll be these bugs here. These sluggers. Or sludger. Okay. Where's the last one? Oh, there you are. That's right, we can't defend from them, but I will go after you. Because you have a strength increase. Good, good. Go in the door. Oh, this place! Yes, I know where we are. With, uh, Splop. I believe these ones are called. Okay, is that all of them from up here? Yes, according to the radar. Oh, and a whirligig. So they just sort of fly around and eventually in spiral into you. More annoying than anything else. No, don't. Thank you. And one we can't reach. And more of the dungeon below. So, yes, it's kind of repetitive, I suppose, the whole dungeoneering in this game. But it's oddly satisfying. I mean, there's no grinding that you need to do. And yes. I hate paths that go nowhere with no reward at the end of them. Just like that. But I suppose it's there to block that area off from that area. Because we'll be coming back here for sure. I think I've done everything. Yes, I have. Yes, that's right. I've got to go outside. So now we're in the fog. And we have our scuttlebugs. And another explorer. There's something on the ground there. If I can move that gold statue, I can pass. Well, working on it. Oh, wait. Thank you. You pushed me back onto the ladder. And now we have a shortcut. Into this area here. Oh. Yes. these guys. So what we have to do is we have to line them up on the gold tiles. Stepping on a gold tile emits a sound. There are four gold tiles. Sound on each of the four tiles at the same time. Thanks for giving the answer away. It might be uh, Gaia narrating actually. So, we'll just bring them over, bit by bit. I have a habit of uh, getting them to go past. Now, I think these uh, soldiers come alive once I do that. Yes, they do. 
Oh, you gotta do the thing. Oh wait, these aren't soldiers. These are stone lords. And yeah, that one got me. Okay. No. Naughty. Go away. In the back. Oh! Can't really defend from the ground fire. And one last one. If I stay sort of up here... Oh, except you're gonna move. Oh, come on. Really? Ah, oh, should have checked if they had an item to start with. Okay. We go around in this tiny little room. Apparently there's four enemies here. Might be the same four enemies as before. Oh, it's this bit. Okay, there's a gold tile. Don't walk straight ahead. Okay, so if I go off to the side. Aha! I love that. It's a really good piece of design. So, unfortunately, couldn't kill the bug. These ones we have to step on anyway. They appear down here. Oh! That was really lucky then. And we have a dark space. Finally. And with having a dark space in a dungeon, yes, I want to change into freedom. And sometimes the game prompts you just when you walk to a particular place. Sometimes it prompts you when you press the button. You can't always tell. I wish it was more consistent. Thank you. You're not going to give any advice this time. And off we go. And with that, now I've got some uh, firepower. I can get the things a lot more methodically, I suppose. Totally miss me. Okay, defense points, I approve. Oh, oh yes, that's right, that forms the shortcut back. And we stand out here. The wind in the valley plays a melody. The statue seems to be singing. So yes, one of the flute melodies is literally the background music here. And the traps reset. Oh. An explorer who sought the ink and gold ship, he lost his life in a trap. Funny that. So now we just have to make our way back. But now that we have freedom, and still no jewel there. And we can make our way back. Oh, it's down. That's right. And deal with, um, that statue I couldn't deal with previously. That one there. I don't know how... The explorer knew to move that statue and have that happen. But anyway. And over we go. And up the other side. So these guys are now a little bit more uh, feasible to deal with. And I think there's nothing up there. No. 
Yes, another unsatisfactory dead end. So now we go back down to the main area. And we get our jewel. Excellent. Well, and I think if the thing will stay open, thank you, that should be everything. That's just a, a um, area to catch yourself if you don't make it up that ramp. And we make it over here. Oh, hello. That's right, you throw the spears. So what you can do is really um, mess things up for yourself and have them all come alive at once. Prefer not to, though. So we'll just get out of the way of the spear. No, oh, the whirly gig, go away. I hate those things. Yes, yeah, so then we go down the stairs. You're just gonna sit there and look pretty so I can get the ramp over the water. And away we go. I like how it gives a little moment as you climb that. It actually gives the impression uh, by visually slowing you down that you are going uphill. Okay, come back. Okay, have I got all of them here? Yes, I have. Go away, you're going to do the thing. Grab you before you disappear. Now that's a shortcut back. Now which way do I go again? Not that way! Yet again. Another dead end path. Oh, but you're guarding something. I'll just stay up here and lazily kill you. There we go. Another herb. Oh, yes, that's right. Now, I think you guys are a little bit trickier on the side like that. Well, let's get rid of you before you disappear again. Now, up oh, your green one. You're not a purple one. Yeah, so yes, the uh, that axe is like um, telekinesis as well. It's holding the sword like that. Now, oh yes, this is the one where they all come alive when you press the switch. So. I'm going to space them out a bit. So I'll move you up into here so I don't have to deal with you immediately. Same again with you. In fact, I'm going to move you all the way around here. And then you, I'll put, oh, out of range. I think I'll put you about on the other side of the one up there. Okay, drag you up. Thank you. And we'll leave that one there. Let's get him alive. Okay. I don't know where your spears automatically regenerate from after you throw them. And with that, this area is clear. Thank you much, Lee. Let's 
still takes three hits to deal with them. Oh, nice collection of uh, different enemy types here. But really, it's just wail on things until they die. There's not much in the way of strategy. I think you're the last enemy out here. Yes, you are. And we get a ladder shortcut back up. So now where are we? Oh. So yes, it's a fairly sizable dungeon. It's not the biggest. But it's, um... I, uh, yeah, probably one of my favourites. Nothing again. So let's... Oh! No, 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 don't. Okay, you're going to come alive. I'll just hide down here. Then I'll wait for the next one. Oh, yes. Another one. So I can't move them too far away. The best I can do is move them up there. So this one is the, the tricky one. So I'll move you and you. Down here. If you're out of the way so I don't drag you back. Put you there. This is gonna hurt. Okay, that wasn't too bad. This is the bit that will. Yes, there we are. Stop it. Now, how many enemies are left? Nine. Okay, there must be further around here then. Oh yes, this bit. Okay, so now that that's done, we've got to run along here. And up the other side. Actually, I want to go in this door here. There's some kind of journal. Note about the Incas. They have no written language. They've left their legends in sound. I have succeeded in deciphering the Incan melody of the wind. Chant in the Golden Room. Does that mean to play the melody of the wind? So, uh, since I believe this came out in, uh, 93, 94, they've, uh, discovered that I think the Incans actually communicated with string. Oh, yes. Ah, all right. So I think that was the red jewel from earlier. Oh, see? Okay, I will want to go back to that dark space uh, later, actually. Because I want to deal with everything here is freedom. So two hits now to kill these guys. Okay, so where's the other one? Come on, where are you going to appear? Excellent. Okay. So we now have 14 hit points. And I think this is the golden room. Yes, it is. Okay. Now we'll go back to that dark space and change back to Will. Because Friedan can't play any musical instruments. And of course you can't enter them from behind. You have to enter them from the front. That's the way the uh, warp goes. Yes, I want to return to young Will. 
And Frieden changes reluctantly back. And immediately we run away. Yes, I want to record what's happened and I want to continue my journey. Okay. Uh, yes, yes, this is where I want to go. So I'll go back through here. Now that I cleared it out as freedom. Make sure, yep, there's nothing left. Go to the golden room. No enemies in here. But I need to equip that. But I should probably order my in fact, before I do anything else, I have a red jewel just sitting about. Oh, if I can actually remember how to uh, inventory manage. Thank you very much. So I don't need to hold on to that any longer than I do. Oh, keep pressing the wrong button. I'm so used to B being confirmed. Okay. Win melody. And that'll be the last time we hear the uh, wind melody. When touched by the echo of the flute, the gold block began to glow. I knew it was this one here. So now we just stand here and twiddle our thumbs. No, just uh, look around the room. Just, you know, think about what's going to happen. Think about our father. And finally the door opens. Okay, but with that... We're finally at the base of the cliff. So we can put the statues on. It doesn't matter which way you put them in. You can put B there and A on the other side. And we'll come back to you in a moment. So I'll select the other Incan statue. And with that, the wind starts blowing. To the breath of the spirits. Before I do anything else, I'm going to remember how to actually uh, do things. I'm going to move stuff out of the way. There we go. Now I've got some order. And back we go. So we'll go into this dark space here. And change back into freedom. Why? Well, I think A is going to tell us. Then you will fight a huge enemy. Then. Not now, but then. When he suffers damage, rays of light will shoot from his head. If you suffer damage, hide behind him. So this is the first boss of the game, and its name is Kastoth, and they actually increase its difficulty for the international versions uh, over the Japanese one, apparently. So the wind blows, and using the wind, we can jump across. If you want to return, there's a last uh, moment uh, way to get over. So why they didn't just repel up and go around, I don't know. But with that, the door closes behind us. Boss time. So first thing, we go after the hands. And we watch out for those little uh, fireball things running across, and he'll spit things out from his uh, uh, between his horns. And when he glows, that's when we attack him. And as you can see, he's got a full bar. But I'm going to hide in the corner because these lasers can't get me here. Now, one of those uh, uh, octahedron fire orbs can get me in the corners. So I have to make sure that particular pattern there, that goes directly into the corners. Oh, that's our first hit in this battle. Okay, you're going to be that pattern. Come on, side glowing. So really, it's a battle of attrition, this one. Okay. 
You can see his shoulder blades down there. Once again, get the hands. Okay, that pattern. Don't you dare. Alright, now we play the waiting game. Corner chaser. Oop. Okay. Oop. Corner, corner, now. So I should be able to feed him the next time his eyes start glowing. Okay. Alright, so if I say here, I should be reasonably safe. One, two. And he's gone. It's actually rather... When you don't know what um, you're doing, it's actually a bit difficult. But once you know exactly what to do, it's actually fairly easy, that one. After the demon disappears, Will returns to his original shape. And Frieden moves reluctantly to do so. So now we're Will. And we move into the longest period of the game without a save point. So we fall down the hole, because there's nowhere else to go. And when we land, we're on the gold ship. Yes, this is the Incan gold ship. What? I feel like someone's there. There's actually people here. Look, look, the king has returned. And he's much shorter. I'm the king? It's the king. You're safe. King, you're safe. Now we can set sail. The queen is in her stateroom. Please show her that you're okay. It's a happy occasion. We have waited for you for such a long time. So happy that they're having a bit of a dance. But why... Are these people here? And what is going on? Oh, King, looking around the ship. But I expect you're tired. Look around, then rest in this bed. Through the darkness, the bright light is visible in front of the cave. As the ship set sail, that light represented the freedom we had just won. So had the Incan ship never set sail? Here we go. We're now in the throne room. The queen is still wearing the ring she got from the king. That's right. It's the ring he gave her when they were separated by the invaders. Since then, she has thought of nothing but him. And the king, or the queen. Good, you have returned safely. As you were told, until now I've been guarding the mystic statue of the winds. That's the statue you were rewarded by the spirits. It's in the jewel box in the storehouse below. Look for yourself. So... The mystic statue of the wind. Why must we flee? It is our home. The mystic statue is in this box. Preparations are being made to set sail. Well, are you going to the crow's nest? You can watch the ship set sail. I could, or... I could get something that's actually worth a fanfare. It's a mystic statue! In fact, it's the first of the six mystic statues. And that's what the pillars surrounding our infantry is for. Here's our mystic statue. It's a bit funny, sort of, what it looks like. It's got some sort of uh, anthropomorphic shape. I mean, you can see eyes and... or what appear to be eyes and some sort of face and... a head on a body, but it's very indescript as to what it is otherwise. So, let's go and watch the ship, uh, leave. Now that, uh... He's, uh, left the ladder. So look at all the steering wheel, or well not steering wheel, cap, uh, capstan marks. Oh, short king, look there! The ship is coming out of the cave! 
And he comes out of the cave leftwards. That unnerved me the first time. I was expecting things to be going the other way. After living in darkness for so long, the brightness is like a new beginning. How can invaders come to destroy a world as beautiful as this? Indeed. Because... Like any Quintet game, it's all about the light and darkness of humanity. And the darkness in people's hearts. I'm sorry that it's so shabby, but please try to get some rest. So is the Queen going to say anything else? That's it. I've looked. I've grabbed it. So, we're setting sail, everyone's happy, and apparently I'm their king. Not that I can really do that much. I think they just say the same thing now that we're actually out of the cave. Yes, that's all they do. By the way, I can only jump down, I can't jump left downwards. So, let's take a nap. I fell into a dead sleep, and was pulled inside a dream. Dreaming music. We're back in South Cape, in our house. And everything is sepia-toned. It's our mother, Shira. Mother? Will's mother, Shira. Look in the sky. The comet is so beautiful. After years and years, the comet approaches Earth, then recedes. Some say it's an unlucky star. Some say it's a lucky star. Will, what do you think? I think it's an unlucky star, actually. Alright. Then hope that the bad luck doesn't come. Will, I am always watching over you. And what the heck just happened, everybody? Will! Will! Wake up! It's Lance and Lily! What are they doing on the ship? How do they get through all the traps of the... How do they get over the... the wind? There are some things we may never know. Lily! You're back so late! The Elder must have read your fortune. He said that you were floating alone on the sea. I was so surprised. You were acting strange, so we followed you. Then we reached a strange town. Wait, don't call it strange. I was born there. It's invisible. I'd call that pretty strange. Will, you can't go on a journey without telling us. Since we're friends, we have to share good times and bad. So they're here. What's downstairs here? This is where the Inca was standing. Indeed, so that's what all the skeletons say. So there's nothing but dead skeletons, and our friends have somehow managed to make it onto the ship. Here's Eric. I was surprised. Oh, it's you, Will. Don't scare me. Eric scares very easily. So here's our uh, dancing couple. Indeed, that is where the Inca was standing. And as we look out to sea, it's, uh, an evil sunset. I found a strange jewel on board the ship. I'll give it to you. Thank you very much. We've got a red jewel. It's the first time I've ever given you anything. Take care of it. I shall, Seth. I shall. By, uh, sending it off to Jim behind your back. Once again, this is where the Inca was standing, and now I can't jump down. And we're somehow still sailing at a very good clip without a sail. So what did we see before? I mean, all the gold has faded. What happened? How did they get here? We may just never know. But the kids are here. And, of course, Kara is here, too. Did 
They perished waiting for the king's return. I can't stand anything that disrupts people's peaceful lives. So apparently... They waited for the king. And somehow the ship got under sail, but... Yet they... We're on there. It's something that, even to this day, I don't understand. How did this set sail? What did I see? And why is it the case when everyone's actually dead? Did I go into some sort of fever dream or some spiritual vision? Anyway, let's talk to the queen. The queen's mummy sleeps silently. Here comes Lily. There's a gold ring on her long, slender, bony finger. That ring must have been one of the artifacts put on this ship. This is the most valuable of all the artifacts. Many people have lost their lives trying to get rich by finding this ring. I want the ring. It's so pretty. I really must have it. Have you no shame? You could be cursed. Just like that. What? Uh-oh. Maybe it belongs to Riverson. In this part of the ocean, there are fish that are as dangerous as, well, sharks. Kara has no idea what's going on. Riverson. Riverson is actually, as it turns out, and as I've been led to believe, a uh, mistranslation of Leviathan. So we are possibly being attacked by a Leviathan right now. Lance says we're okay. Whoa! That's Seth! It's coming from the deck! What happened to Seth? Something happened! Yeah! It's Seth! A huge, enormous, giant fish ran into the ship! <laughs> Seth fell on the water! <laughs> it was swallowed! <laughs> What was that? Oh, that was a bad hit. Ah, it's that fish again. We'll all be dessert. Stop crying and grab this or you fall overboard. Like, uh, everyone else. And here we are, cast adrift. You've just come too. I've lost everyone. Are you okay? Um... Well, I've still got full health. Yes, I'm okay. Hmm, you recover quickly. Like a lizard's tail. I've read about being adrift, but I never thought it would happen to me. Disasters sometimes happen suddenly. So this is the extent of our playing field for the next uh, little while. Don't be upset. Don't think about the future. Let's just enjoy drifting. I'm starved. I'll have the meat I brought from the castle. I... You brought? I've had it here in my inventory, cluttering it up. Oh, goodness. Anyway, it is a meat large roast from Edward Castle. Apparently yak. We bit off some of the meat. It was better than any food we'd ever had. It's day two and I'm already losing hit points. Beautiful. Even after seeing it all day, I still never get tired of it. Well, that is food. I want some. What are you doing? The poor fish! Kara, I want to eat. I want to eat. Let me eat. Let me eat. I'm trying to eat, Kara. I'm starving. There's no other food around. And there's nothing we can do until, uh, except twiddle our thumbs. Time passed slowly. 
with nothing to break the monotony. And apparently, it's Will now talking rather than the narrator, who sometimes says we. Kara just stared at the fish all day. Will couldn't stand it, says Will. He walked around on the raft and talked to Kara many times. A minute seemed like forever, but he could hear the march of time. Not necessarily the best writing. I have a premonition. Help is coming. What? Something is drifting here. It's a pot. Oops. Yes, well, okay. There was a letter in the jar. The contents read, We are on a ship on our way to be sold as forced labor in an unknown land. If anyone reads this, please save us. Sam. So. They've, uh... Being, uh, sold as slaves. No premonition. You said you wanted to be saved. But it's me who needs to be saved. Oh, I am so starved. You should have caught that fish. If you had... I can't hurt such a pretty fish. Are you saying it's better to starve? Raw fish gives me the creeps. I can't eat it. Besides, the fish is fighting to stay alive. Fish feel pain. Have you ever thought of how the fish feels? If you want to eat it, go ahead. I'm not going to eat it. Dot 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 Kara didn't say anything all day. The typical princess, she's such a bother. And there we are at our last hit point, on day seven. Drifting, first week, a school of fish. He reached the end of his rope. If he didn't eat more, he thought he would starve. By rope, we actually mean, um, flute. Ooh, group of three. Listen, so yeah, just tapping to, uh, eat them up as soon as they arrive on deck. I'm gonna get my health back. I mean, you shouldn't, I let one go at least. You shouldn't ease everything out there after all, I mean, otherwise they can't repopulate. Karu is still sulking. Will, sorry I talked to you that way yesterday. I'll try to eat the fish. I can't do anything if I starve. Only in peacetime can you refuse food you don't like. Let's catch a fish. A good one. Oh, you're going to say the same thing. All right, okay, 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 okay. I thought you might have said something different. All right, let's catch two. Happily, Kara ate some fish. Happily. Will found that he was starting to develop feelings for Kara. Well, I suppose when you're trapped on a little bit of a raft and the only other person around, I mean, I suppose it's what Stockholm Syndrome is as well. Drifting, day 12. Notice in the background here, that is the constellation of sickness. The stars are beautiful. If I were taller, I could reach them. Surely Lily and Lance are looking at the same star studded sky. If I could talk to the stars, I could find out where everyone is. There seems to be one extra star near the constellation of Cygnus. Yes, that red star. Shall we make a wish upon that star? I have a feeling it'll come true. Will, you close your eyes too. This would have been a prayer. I hope for everyone's safety, and for my father. And we'll get some Kara coming close, that's good. I honestly think that that red star is the comet. Getting closer and closer. We've been adrift for almost three weeks now. Hasn't your hair got a little long? Just a little. <laughs> Kara doesn't act like a spoiled princess now. If you told someone she was one of the island girls, no one would doubt it. So she must have got a tan. It's terrible! What is that? They're in the water! 
Uh oh. Maybe a shark? We could be eaten! What should we do? Well, it's uh, a raft and uh, I guess uh, the game of raft wasn't going to come out for another 20 something years, but anyway. They're circling a raft, but they're not attacking. Let's think about this. So once again, we uh, twiddle our thumbs. Such is the way of this game. The uh, story writer uh, for this game, uh, Mariko Ohara, she um, is a science fiction writer. I've got it, they're not hungry. Anyway, I'll keep going about uh, Mariko Ohara. She's a science fiction writer and um, her name was one of the ones on the title screen. So, in a way, this game is kind of science fiction-y. I mean, we've had the Incan ruins in a sort of a funny location. As you've seen by the map, this is not any continents that we know of. Yes, it is the Earth. My grandpa told me that only humans attack living things when they're not hungry. Then what we're doing is not usual human behavior. We didn't eat fish until we were starving. That's right, they're going. Goodbye, sharks. Goodbye, sharks. Goodbye, dramatic music. Drifting, day 21. When I was in the castle, I loved watching the sunset. The sunset was beautiful from the corridor of the castle. But now I've come to hate it. After the sun has set, the darkness comes. I thought I'd never see the sunrise again. But since you're with me, I see a beautiful sunrise every morning. With you by my side, I can even enjoy times like these. I've wanted to say the same things to you, but somehow the words just wouldn't come out. I just nodded, saying nothing. And then I collapse. Suddenly, Will says, suddenly Will fell over, unconscious. Will, Will, what's wrong? Wake up, don't leave me here alone. Oh dear. We've reached land. We've reached safety. You can wake him up now. He'll be fine if he takes vitamin C. It's scurvy, a disease caused by a long-term lack of vitamin C. How did they know about that in the age of expiration that it was specifically vitamin C? Never mind. Hmm. Columbus's crew contracted it once. Nothing to worry about. When it gets worse, the blood gets bad and the skin turns black. The gums bleed and the body starts decaying. Stop! I don't want to listen to such talk. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay. But you know best. Thank you. You should take the dog outside. He found your raft and came to get me. Will! Will! Wake up! We've reached land! We're saved! Uh. Kara? Where am I? We're at the home of the kind man who saved us. You've been tossing in your sleep. I kept putting the blankets on you, but you threw them off. This is the south outskirts of Oakton. The city of Frisia is half a day to the north. If you're looking for your friend, you should look in a big town. So we jump off the bed, dramatically. You should take the dog outside, okay? Kara says, at any rate, let's go to Frisia. I'm going to thank the dog. Come back when you're ready. So Kara is going to go off and thank the dog. And this is where we're going to leave the episode. So next time, folks, we will go and thank a dog. So thank you very much for watching. Until next time, Notsukare-sama. Mm -hmm.